Pathfinder. Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM's Operation First Vengeance coming up here. Uh, two assault missions to counter signal jamming, which would be uh, rather annoying if it kicks in. Uh, likely facing the assassin here. Ten enemies detected. However, uh, Puppeteer Chrysalid Queen, which I don't think we've seen. That wasn't supposed to rhyme, but very conveniently did. Uh, we've seen the king. Curious to see what the queen is capable of. Um, high explosive zone, which could go for us or against us. Uh, we're taking out the cook words, Izzy, Ghost, Oni, and Ripper. Uh, one thing of note is that due to the weapon and item overhaul mod that we're running, uh, the Dark Lance does not actually fire uh, with one action, even though the description says it does. So that should get updated at some point, I think. Um, that being said, still pretty powerful. Uh, 9 to 11 damage, bonus crit of 3, clip size 4, armor, pierce, shred, all that good stuff. So hopefully that works out. Um, let's rock and roll and uh, see if we can make this happen. Shall we? Shall we? So a couple weeks back when I was like just recording so many videos back, 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 I was really in a rhythm and I really liked that. Now that I'm like more up to date and uh, recording closer to when videos are actually published, th there's a little bit of uh, tension or nerves every mission because I'm not, I don't have that, that rhythm or that uh, momentum happening all the time. So yeah, it's, it's just an interesting little vibe to share. Uh, today's log comes from Deadput, who's writing for the Waldex, the Advent Forge custodian that the modders put in to try and trip us up. But we got the upper hand mostly because <laughs> it spawned at a pretty bad time and alone. So too bad. Uh, the log reads, I have no regrets. In order to fulfill my duty as the wall of the forge and the custodian of its many spawnlings, my masters allowed me to have what very few were ever given among our ranks free will. The ability to make my own decisions and how to carry them out. So I gave my life to make sure that there would have been a chance if the plan falls apart due to your actions, then I trust you, people of Earth, to look after my many children. With what time there would be left for them and all of you, but I suppose a short but free life would be better than a life of blind servitude from your point of view anyways? Am I not correct in this assumption, Commander? Uh, listen, Mr. Waldex, it was fun. It's nice seeing you. You had a cool entrance. I'll give you that. You had an even better exit. On the alien's latest project. And in this case, okay. that means infiltrating one of their facilities to access an exposed terminal connected to their network. Hostile forces will be in Oh, this is cool. I don't I don't know so if we've we'll been on this map at all. To lock down the area. Recover whatever you can. <laughs> this is good. We need that data I don't think we've been on this map progress. uh yet. This have we? Avenger. The nope. access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Okay, where is it? Nine turns to shut that down? That's it? That's it? I don't love it. I'll tell you that much. Let's do a little uh, meditate here. Just get that going. Um... <laughs> I'm looking for, like, cool Icarus opportunities, but let's just get moving first. We do have this rooftop. Icarus, of course, uh, learning a hard-headed way uh, does break concealment. And this is one of those things, like, okay, so I know that this icon exists. I do, I do know that. Shocking, you know. But uh, sometimes I just, sometimes I just, I'm not looking at it, you know? How am I going to get to this thing? How am I going to get there? Without a tech specialist. Didn't really think that one through, as usual. Ah. <sighs> well, we're just going to have to be fast. If I can't be smart, I can hopefully be fast. Uh, I'm going to put the cook down here, full Sound cover. Copy. Didn't spot anything. Uh, words come up to Hold half here. Izzy. How ballsy am I feeling? 
every time I go up to a rooftop early, it's usually bad. But I think if we would see anything, we probably would spot it with words here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. That. Seems fine. And then I'm also gonna okay. go with Clara. God, that looks cool. Now, unfortunately, we uh, do not have the, the non-timer start, which would be exceptional right now. However, this is life. No need to ask twice. Okay, we see something. Codex and an Archon Valkyrie. This is not a bad spot to fight them from, truthfully. I'm actually very surprised I can't see them, but... Heading to that location. Let's set up a brace. Um, Oni, I'm going to move a you down decision. here. Ripper, take this position. corner. We might end up spawning more here. We don't. It's kind of nice. On it. Please can take this. Um, I'm going to put Izzy here. Obviously, we have a huge flank on this side. Order's confirmed. Moving out. We have a lot of remote start opportunities. Any on that boat? Yeah, that's, that's pretty smart planning. Yeah. Think about it. Um, jeez, this is going to be really challenging. Okay. I can't afford to just open here, right? I, I can't. I also, if I move forward, uh, the chances of us finding something else are just you know, growing in intensity every time. So we're going to do one turn here where we wait. We'll let these guys come in. And we may still, another group might just come in here, but that's not happening. So that's good. Oh, we can't see that, eh? I mean, this is a pretty good opener. I wouldn't mind saving this shot for the Valkyrie only because uh, the crazy high defense and stuff is going to be pretty annoying. Um, domination attempt there, pretty poor. I don't have an amazing Null Lance opener here. I could start on that Valkyrie. It's not bad. And maybe I will. Let's hit uh, everyone. And let's see what we can get done here first. Where will you run? This I, I'm presuming the assassin will be here, so we should see her. Holy crap! That also blew up. I didn't even notice that that was a, a blow upable canister. Oh, and the codex too, right on there. Good plan. Good plan. Oh, that sucks that I can't see this thing. I could Icarus jump it um, if I wanted to. I have another Null Lance here. What's our clarity of mind? Nine turns? Not bad. It's not bad. Um, unless I can just dust this guy. Doesn't really matter. The blue screens are pretty nice, though. I think we're going to start with this. And then we'll see about the 70% on the Valkyrie. That's a big, that's a big, big shot at 12 there. And we can start building up some energy with Suzuki. Oh, great. They're going to be yelling. That's great. They're no longer panicked because we're, we're also great. <laughs> Bye! We've seen this once before. I can't remember if civilians were involved in that too, but maybe that's the commonality there. It's possible. Seventy on this one. Two armor left. Thirty-five here. Uh, 
don't love. What do you what do you what is what do you have here? Melee only variant. Life draining staff. Okay. Terrible battle frenzy gaining an extra action, which it did. Unique area of effectability that causes mass panic. Now, I'm gonna say we should probably just kill you. Uh we could just straight up overwatch here. I think we put this damage on if we, if we land it. Okay, dodge. Something. We know it's melee only, so if it makes it this far, let's put this down. I think I'm going to save my other grenades. I'm going to overwatch this. I've got a pretty reliable overwatch in Sponsler, I would say. And then... Oh, we're concealed here, though. That actually sucks. Do I guess maybe I burn an Icarus jump here? This doesn't let me see the Valkyrie. This does. I should still be able to either shoot or brace and leave the target. I think that's good. What's my regular shot? Oh, I'm still at 100 here. Oh, well, um, yeah, that'll do. All right, so should have checked that first. We're down a defensive mine here, unfortunately. Mm. It's nice, though. It's nice. That raptor's perch coming in there. So we have to be braced for that to happen. One action point refunded. So we have like a pistol overwatch. Makes this, this, it, it does nullify the vanilla version of this gun just a tad. Oh, I hear some slippery snakes. I know there is, there should be a traditional snake out here, right? Give me something. Give me something. And no chosen. Very, very surprising, actually. Not a problem. Not, this is not ideal. I would like to find the enemies, <laughs> to be totally honest. Um, that would be immensely helpful. It's far, but I can reach it. Cook, take this. Oh, we see. Okay, so they're right on the device. Two traditional snakes right on the device. Uh, we could fight from the outside. Or this way. Either way, I think we have a pretty big advantage. Uh, Izzy does need to come in a lot closer because she ain't no sniper. Um, but where am I going to put Ghost? I honestly kind of want to go back up here, but we're going to have problems uh, with line of sight. Windows, maybe. If they come over here, yeah, cool. Um... If I could get, like, in there, that would be nice, but I don't see that happening. I don't have great remote start opportunities. I could, of course, last down here if I'm feeling feisty, which might actually be okay. I think I'm going to take this, actually. That should hit both of those snakes that we saw. Oh, it's gonna hit a it's gonna hit also a big biomech trooper. So that's cool. They're out of range for now. Uh so that's something. I wonder if they're gonna get close enough here. You know what? I think I better move Sponsler down. And I'm going to bring Clara up. This is kind of flanky, but... We have other things happening here. Uh, we do have that no man's land, but we're a little too far away. Let's see what happens. There's not much I can do about it. One overwatch to protect the device from the puppeteer. One traditional snake coming in, the other not far behind. That biomech is the one that could absolutely decimate. Let's see what he does. 
Here we go. Don't tell me. Oh, another heavy lancer down on the stairs, too. Fear of mechs, fear of mechs, fear of mechs. This is not good. Oh, resist. Well, probably because of the solace. Yeah, classic. 51%. It's coin flip if I ever saw one. Minor that advantage. Not good. I don't know if he's good. Is he going for a... Is he going for a stun here? He might He might get one. We are getting Bladestorm, though. Uh, bad, bad target. Bladestorm. Okay, and the mech uh, couldn't get anything done. I got an 87 there. Listen not bad oh there's the queen i got five turns where i really got to make something happen here um who's overwatch the traditional snake is overwatched i could gas bomb this but the snake's immune bio mech trooper immune chrysalid queen probably probably immune of course no explosions down there to speak of um we are braced here though i love that I got to put damage in here. And even if I... Um, yeah, see, this is where it's a bit tricky. I got to wrap my head around the fact that this Dark Lance isn't one action. Because if it was, we'd be pinging these off right now. And it would be monstrous. That said, I have other priorities now. There you go. Still massive damage. Clearly. Um, I don't know if this is going to trigger... Hmm. One thing I could do is I could, I could get a decent... Decent Null Lance from this position. That I could uh, phase walk into. And then Null Lance if I wanted it. Which I think I do want. This keeps me concealed, or not concealed, but it keeps me behind cover as well. Let's go. And then we have clarity of mind to reset these null lances, maybe for that queen. But I just have to try and be moving forward where I can because... Well, I got it. Uh, Words does have Shadow Step. And we're bonded with Izzy, which isn't that bad. It's actually pretty good. No one else is going to be able to use this full cover, except for maybe a Braxa. But I, I'm, I'm, I really don't want to trigger the Queen here if I don't have to. Um, it's looking like I might be using the teamwork here. Sure thing. Is he? Uh, I would really like. Oh, we're just a little bit out of range there. If I can get her here, then we have the then we have the shot. So maybe that's what I do. Bring a Braxa here, break that traditional snake. Overwatch. We also have um we also have Cook, so hold on a second. Because Izzy, I think I'm going in here. And then we're going to teamwork. Sure thing. Grenade out. That's hitting. Get rid of that last bit of armor. That's fine. And then Izzy really too bad I can't also like well, no you know what maybe we do here actually 
Uh, I think we lay down that that AOE kill zone. Uh, she has covering fire as well. So if this guy does something funky. And then that protects if the... Well, kind of protects if the Chrysalid Queen starts running in here, which is super possible. So we're being pretty noisy. That'll apply some uh, disorientation there. Actually, it might be immune. I'm not sure. But our chances to hit are going to be similar anyway. And then... Ugh, do I overwatch this? I'm going to try and get it in a little closer here. Let's see what happens. Prime Puppeteer burning is nice for us. Ooh, good thing we didn't put somebody up there. That's a good spot for them. Okay, 36. Full cover. Oh my god. That is nasty. That is nasty, but not a bad group. The medic. The... That's fine. That's fine. I can see them flanking. If the purifier, <laughs> classic. Are we not? Ex uh. Uh. Okay. Excuse me. Should that not have triggered? Any enemy action, not just movement. Reaction shots ignore 60% of the target's defense. Huh. That was not expected. It's pretty nice. I feel like I need to send Oni. It's too bad I don't have that phase walk now. Technically, I could do it, but I'm going to go up top here. Might trigger the queen, but we didn't. Ripjack strikes really nice, but that would definitely trigger the queen. Gas bomb could work. Gas bomb could also work down here, but I think Oni goes in to handle that. A focus strike of power. Did I not put on the better? Yeah, I didn't put on the better gauntlets. There's always something. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do this. Is this what we're looking for? I can move Oni in against that purifier. Superior conditioning, nice drop. Nano med kit as well. I've got the I got four here. turns left. Is he suppressed? We could end that. That'll work. You can't handle me. Oh, see, okay. So that's nice. Okay, so that's a cool combo we could have with Raptor's Perch. Oh, wait a second. I can still use a snapshot. Sh huh. Okay, so what is happening here? I need to understand it. So it takes, okay, so it takes two shots, but then we get one refunded because of uh, the high ground. And then Snapshot lets us shoot with one. So it's still pretty good, actually. Still pretty good. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing here is taking this shot. Hopefully it lands. Good. And then we're going to do 
Oh yeah, he's a prime. Yeah, of course. Classic. And now I don't have the Overwatch. Excellent. That's good. I'm looking for that purifier. Okay, so he's here. See, now, um, it's interesting. <laughs> I'll bring spawns in here with an overwatch. I think I take this. Let the puppeteer do its thing. And then we get the kill on the blade storm. And we're still working forward, which is also nice. If I come up here, I'm super flanked. Don't have a guaranteed way to kill. Unless I clarity of minded this. But I kind of want to save those null lances for the queen there. And we are slowly moving in. Uh, Ripper is within striking distance. On my way. We're gonna lose shields this round. Got it covered. Moving to Overwatch. Let's see how this shakes down here with this puppeteer. Okay. I'm taking fire. My armor is strong. Not okay. Ah. It's disappointing that it breaks the, the Overwatch there, because Oni would have handled it. And with Fortress, no cares given. Oh, cool. So they're going for, like, maximum annoyance. That's good. I don't know what the Queen is doing. Uh... That I can say with full confidence. We're near the objective. Absolutely. And we're not even triggering her. I have no clue where she's at. What's over there? Let's do this. Okay. Um, I should have done the free reload there. I'm going to Icarus jump up top. Ah, oh, there she is. That's uh, not a great time for us to, to do that. So, Queen, immune to poison, spawn several chrysalids. That's good. Should be fun. I got to get Oni over there for blade storms. Let me think about how I'm doing this here. So, I think I'm in a clarity of mind. So I can get a shield up. It'll reset our timer for Null Lance. I know it's a free Null Lance, but I really want to get her in there. To defend. Actually, maybe I take this instead. If I take this... Do I forego the shield? We still have two armor. Yeah, I think I take this. It'd be nice if I saw where that other one was. Because then I can kill the queen on the next one, I think. can't remember if it spawned back here. I strike for my people. 
Oh, we don't have the arc wave on I'll Suzuki anyways. I was thinking of that. Oh, that's going to trigger on every one of these too. That's interesting. That's very, very cool. Uh, I think an empowered parry is wasted here. Just a regular parry in case something nasty happens that I'm not considering. Um, I could put fire down in this area. I think I will. Take this. Drop it uh, under the reinforcements. And then words. Just a little Overwatch. Is he Overwatch? Gotta cover. Holy, that is a group. A lot of them do not care for about fire. Oof. Okay. Not good. Another biomech. Dudes, I was not expecting five reinforcements coming in here. The invaders move against me. Still not quite dead. These these incorrect gauntlets here uh, proving to be a bit of a problem. Because these guys would both be dead right now. Oh, and they crit. Okay. I pretty much need a domination play here. Um, if I, okay, so here's 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 my thought process. Um, first of all, I have another null lance. I need to get in there for hacking, first of all. Like, it needs to happen. Um, there's a lot of overwatches, so I need to deal with that. I'd have to put Ripper over on this side and try and handle it next turn. I have no way of breaking this floor unless the Soul Storm is a thing. Actually, that's not true. I could f I could come up and fuse this mech he would drop, but I feel like I need to go for the domination here. So I think we go... Okay, so we're going to go Clarity of Mind, so we have to do that first. Then this is going to be free, so I'll still have Null Lance. 77. If I can get it, I'll be happy. Okay, beautiful. That's helpful. Good stuff. Now, I still have the Null Ward. Into something. Either the Fuse here... I have this direct shot on the biomech. Izzy has this, which isn't amazing. Uh, Ghost is also super flanked. And what else could we do here? I do have a Null Lance. If I were to come, like, here... And I could Null Lance these two, I think.
just all of a sudden got extremely sweaty. Um, there's still overwatches to break. Not sure how he's getting through there. I think we start with this. Get ready for a surprise. Actually, I should have done that first because then he takes the rupture. He would have taken a lot more damage from the Null Lance. Man, I'd really like for this to be up here. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, that's interesting. I can hit the Bio Viper. I really want to hit this mech, though. Oh. Oh, I might have got it. I do have it. I do have it. Um, one problem is Ripper being here. And Ghost being here. It's just this guy's... He's got high aim, high damage. Um... Okay, I think I need to do this. No one is safe. I gotta break the overwatch. And then Ripper. Couple of, couple of options. So, uh, first thing we could do is take a shot. We do have blue screens on him. And then I could come over for a Rip Jack on the, the Bio Viper here. And then we also have uh, Retribution. I think the only thing that really screws us up is if um, this Bio Viper like constricts us next time. But I think we can undo that and still get here. I think. Miss, miss, miss. Did not miss, miss, miss. Shredded everything, in fact. Good crit. Okay, I still have Izzy. With a couple of shots here. I have Ghost. Um, what is the cook most capable of? Even if I put this up here now, I don't know if this kills the biomech. Does it? But Izzy certainly would. Or sorry, Ghost certainly would. Huh. The other thing, though, is if Ghost gets a kill... I don't need to kill that Chrysalid Hunter... Sixty-nine. I mean, that's pretty much guaranteed to land. <laughs> nice. Big deal. It's a pretty big deal. Gives us some extra options. Um, let me think about this. Looks like I'm just going to be moving Cook up. Or am I? Maybe I just try this. See if it's enough. Get him to do anything else this round anyway. Yeah, okay, so. 
Kind of useless. All the shredding. Uh, I don't have her, like, able to shoot the pistol first. But technically, hold on. No, this won't work. So 92 there. And clearly the biomech needs to die. Let's see here. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen up top. That's our mind controlled buddy. There you go. Nice shot. Ooh. Okay, he's going to flank our sniper, I think. Oh, he's going for Ripper. Uh, oh my god, really? Oh my god, the whiff, the whiff central battle is happening. It's still happening. Whoa. <laughs> and there's the buy. Okay, well. Minus 1-5, the advent network terminal is shutting down. This is your last chance to secure the data. That's pretty funky. But I have a plan, as usual. I've thought it all through. I know all of the options. That is a misclick. <sighs> Come on, man. Dude, like, oh, that's so frustrating. Let me see if I can undo this. This is only a 70%. I might just have to reload that. That's... that's... disgusting. I have to. <laughs> okay. Um... We're gonna click here correctly now. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, I'm under yeah. Fire. That actually... Oh, God. You know, this whole thing with the gauntlets has actually been kind of annoying. My strike surges He's probably going to get another attack here. Okay, well, I have to go for it. Let's see what happens here first. Let's see if I can get this guy killed. That'll just prevent any weirdness happening with the uh, blade storm. She might get another blade storm off this, actually. I'm not sure how this interaction is going to go. <laughs> that works. Uh, yeah, sure. That's a bunch of weirdness up there. Okay, but that gives me the safety to move in. So I'll take it. I'm going to set up a brace here. 61 only. We'll do a lead the target, but we have, ret we have Blade Storm in here. And a decent hack. I mean, we'll go for this. I have a bunch of facility leads. Oh, is that on? Wow. I don't think I've ever seen one like that close like that. Ever. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. On my way. Izzy can't really make anything happen here. Uh, I don't have any weird, like, shots up through the ground. What's over there? We have this. 
I'll take it. We'll be fine. It's already hurt anyway. Yeah, good parry. I'm under attack here. <laughs> That'll do. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Okay, that went from I thought this mission might be pretty complex with the with the uh, assassin, but the assassin did not show. However, the five reinforcements, that's where things got a little bit out of hand there. And I should have expected it with the low number of enemies. We were able to, to um, hack the thing, which also concerned me. And I guess... I guess this mission was would have been seven before, which is kind of crazy. Seven turns, and then that unfortunate misclick to put me on the on the low ground instead of the high ground. Unfortunate, but okay. Uh, Cook twenty six, not bad. Words twenty six, one for three with a pretty, I would say a pretty crucial uh, mind control actually. Is the eighteen two for four probably a bit underwhelming? Uh, Ghost with that new. Uh, Dark Lance, I believe it's called. Absolutely beautiful. And got the Wi-Fi destruction. 7 for 7, 78. Absolutely decimating. Uh, Suzuki 94. My bad on the under-equipped gauntlets there. That would have made things way easier, actually. And Ripper 68, 4 for 4. Yeah, a pretty crucial loadout errors there. To be fair, I made them like two hours into a previous mission, which is always a bad idea, but... Uh, should have brought a tech specialist, obviously, and should have um, made, those, made sure those gauntlets were on. Not be it's unfortunate. All weapon fire and but otherwise, still, we had a lot of room for error there. That one attack from the um, Chrysalid did a lot of damage, though, and that gave me a little bit of a scare. All right. 100% shots. Yeah, pretty good. To be fair, wait, how is that 100% shots? When we have people that are like two for four. It's weird, I don't know. I do not claim to know. We'll let the stats people figure that out. I do have a link down in the description now for stats. Um, I have a link to Fleet's page, the XCOM databank, and a, le and a link to Wolfson's uh, Excel file. If you guys are into that, feel free to check those out. It's pretty amazing work. Uh, I'm just going to let the animations settle. I've noticed lately we're getting a little bit of lag on the, on the geoscape and stuff. Not sure if something has changed, but... All right, what do we want to do here? A colonel. We're starting to get into some top ranks, which is awesome. Uh, the field medic may use medkit charges to apply a combat stimulant, significantly boosting an ally's combat effectiveness for two turns. Okay. For the duration of the effect, the target will have their stats boosted. Combat stats boosted by 10% and gain 25% damage resist. That's pretty good. The target also gains a, a movement action point and grants one additional movement action at the beginning of each turn for the duration of the effect, which is two turns. The target gains immunity to mental afflictions for the duration of the effect, but will lose 10 will after it wears off to a minimum of one. Combat stimulants cannot be applied to the same target more than once per mission. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Fire series of bursts at a target with a chance to hit them twice. It's like rapid fire. Requires three ammo, has a four-turn cooldown. I do like. Enter a special form of Overwatch where the field medic will fire on any enemies in range before they complete a hostile action, disorienting them. Disorients whether the shot hits or not. Number of targets is only limited by ammo. This this is pretty interesting, actually. This is pretty interesting for this class because A, these guys are our psionic powerhouses now, right? So we're typically using psionics and then there's usually an action left um, unless we're going to, to heal and stuff. Medivac is kind of nice. Plus two charges used for post-mission healing. This would be a good one to kind of swing back and get. I think I'm going to take Armed Intervention. 
I'm going to also tag Medivac. Some other stuff in here we might want, but we'll see. Cook as well, up to Colonel. This is big. Destructive nature. We can equip heavy weapons regardless of armor worn. Equipped heavy weapons now receive all the bonus damage effects by powered by explosive ordnance. Rockets, very powerful. Shredder, uh, probably not. Hold position. Reload the weapon before entering special overwatch, firing on any enemies in range that move or attack with covering fire ability until their ammo is depleted. Must be in full cover to activate. Okay. Uh, very tempting, but that would change our kind of whole style playing these guys where I run these shotguns so that after we use the um, explosives, we can still get in close and do stuff. I do like that minefield. I think I'm going to take destructive nature just to kind of stay true to how we play these guys. We did get some nice loot here. Superior conditioning, a nano med kit, basic foregrip, and a bunch of corpses. So that's the first phase of signal jamming as well. Where are we at in research? Powered armor. Yeah. Uh, who's in psionics training right now? Oh, yeah. Wraith. Okay. There's something I was going to look at here. What was it? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oops. So, first thing I'm going to... Actually, can I even remove these here? I don't think so. All right, I'll have to make sure that we fix that next time. But yeah, I wanted to confirm that I had indeed swapped those. Okay. This has been a crazy, crazy week, real time. Uh, just in terms of the episodes that we've run into. has been just bananas. Uh, we have a whole bunch of things going on. There's reduced avatar project progress that I don't think we need to worry about. Um, after powered armor, we might go into like a codex uh, brain study, or we might finish up the uh, plasma lances and stuff. We could do the chosen stronghold, but I feel like waiting until uh, we get to gear up would probably be better in that regard. Uh, also made whole is still in effect, so while there will be people that are like, yeah, but the challenge. I'm like, yeah, but what if we die? You know what I mean? Because that final that final chamber against the assassin is going to be... <laughs> that's going to be very difficult. Uh, especially, it, it's going to be almost impossible. I, not impossible, but it would be very, very difficult. If Avenger main hole is still in the mix. Let's see. Our next big focus is countering uh, the other part of the dark event. So let's wait for that. See what kind of comes up in between. Commander, there were a Scanning few sites is nice. the latest covert action. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. Uh... Okay. <laughs> we did not, in fact, get any. Now, there seems to be... I don't know. I think this is a vanilla thing. But there comes a time where you don't get scanning sites anymore. And this might just be the case. Um, it's not the end of the world. Here we go. Rescue an engineer. Not necessary. Uh, this is the other thing that we're waiting on. So two days for this, and then we have an assault on the UFO. That's actually probably going to pop before anything else. Let's see. There were some casualties cool. during that last okay. covert action. Commander got wounded, unfortunately, but, but extra mobility. After some well Oh, cool. Okay, so there's two things, actually. Two assault missions. Um, this will be part two of signal jamming. I don't love it. There's a sectopod, a wyvern, an elite medic, heavy mechs, elite sparks. Okay, so this is blue screen central. Spectres, right? Um, they're going to have 50 critical defense and 66%... Explosive damage resist. Drop ships will be delayed. Advent loot. And it's sabotage the transmitter. Um, these are the ones where we have to like blow up the things along the way to disabling that. Um, but the UFO expires in 37 hours, and this we will definitely be doing. 
There is unfortunately also problems here. Uh, Sectopod, Muton, Beleaguer, Biozerkers, Heavy Max, Viper Primes. This is kind of our all-in mission, I think. We only have three tired, which is nice. Setting course for the Western US precinct. But yes, excited to see how this goes down and hoping that this gives us just a plethora of like alloys, Illyrium supplies, cores would be nice because we're about to go on a huge spending spree. Enemy material, love that. So Tyrant can't come, Cook can't come, Daniil can't come, and that's okay, because we want to try and get these other guys ready to go here. Um, if the other dark event fails, like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we're pretty... Yeah, I mean, we, we'll have all our we'll have all of our gear. Oh, assuming this goes well, for the for the signal jamming counter. But we're not going to have our best because we are going to take our best right now. Um, I'm going to leave words out. We're going to take Stephanie, who's got our highest psionic rate, so she's coming out first for sure. Uh. Short Fuse, I believe, joins us. Let me just double check what's showing up here. We have another, another thing popping. This is to delay what? The Collectors. Ugh. Now, only nine enemies. Recover Resistance Operative. Uh, Pathfinders. So you see Elite Pathfinder Captains, Andromeda and Prime, which is annoying but was dumb the last time we saw. Won't expect them to always be dumb. Codex, Advanced Titans, and Elite Pathfinders. Okay, so Elite Spectre, Elite Elder Priest, Sectopod, Biozerkers, Codex, Heavy Mechs. Okay, so blue screens for sure. Probably bring Libby on the next mission. So Sponsler, I think makes a lot of sense here. Who are you paired with? Jonathan, he's pretty low. Abraxa could be an option. Could be an option. Um, Lockwood, Lockwood's been absolutely crushing. Dragon's aim is really nice. I'd be, I'm very tempted to bring Dragon. The problem is, is that we'd be foregoing splinter armor and no man's land on, on Izzy. I think we'll bring her instead. Um, I didn't really feel the impact of the Sabo rounds idea, which is negating defense and landing shots to shred armor. It, it just didn't feel like that was as impactful as having something like blue screens. So I'm probably going to switch that. Um, we unfortunately will not have a Templar. Unless I want to wait for Oni to come back in five hours. This Templar training in 48. That's actually that's actually pretty important. Um that's pretty important. Okay, let let's think about this. Um five hours will be low will but just gives us a lot of flexibility. Nova is probably our sniper here. Nova's 10 away. Ghost is 20 away. She has Raptor's Perch. She actually has 
He's got lead the target. So does she. High approach, quick hands, weapon specialist. He has lightweight optics. She has raptors perch. Where is this? Where is this battle? This is a UFO, so I assume it's like outside. Which means there probably isn't going to be a lot of high ground if it's just like that big open foresty area. I'm just going to do a quick little... I'm just going to do a quick little flyaway here. Setting just to try and get uh, our Templar tract. back. We need five hours. Setting Let's fly back over. Western I'm doing this instead States. of scanning because sometimes trying to pause that scan is uh, not as sensitive as I would like it to be. So Suzuki's back, okay. This gives me the 10 hours to launch this one and the three days to launch this one, if we decide to do them, which... The collectors, I mean, maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's bad. Abductor, Sectopod, Mech, Codex. Yeah. Having Suzuki with the, um, with the reliable, uh, Blade Storm to counter those priests and stuff, I think is quite nice. Let's, uh, take these off here. We're gonna immediately fix that problem. All right, let's see how that looks for a second. Uh, Stephanie, you're going to take the advanced thing. I need to unequip our barracks. Actually, let me fill this first. The spawns is in. This aim, though, that's, that's pretty, pretty rough. We don't have any perception skills. That's a big, that's a big difference. 84 aim versus 74, whatever it is. Eighty four versus 77. It feels better, you know? It feels better, but she has the skills. I gotta, I think I gotta believe in her. I gotta believe in her. Uh, Elixir, is there anything we might want here? Covering fire with Sentinel is pretty good. Cost 15, so we're only using a few from the XCOM pool. Let's uh, build out the squad first and see what we want to do there. Um, Nova is going to be our marksman. We'll field medic, sapper, marine, templar, marksman. And then I could bring up Raxa again. Gives us a lot of flexibility. We still have the melee stuff. We have the pull. We have remote start. We have um, blue screen damage, which isn't bad either. It's not. It's not bad. It's not. It's not bad. Plus, we have the the teamwork stuff, which is always kind of helpful. You're bonded with. <laughs> well, you're bonded with ghosts, but your compatibility is extremely low. I mean, I think we can do this. There's probably not a timer. Oh, I unequipped the squad. Oh my god. That's fine. We're gonna build we're gonna build from fresh. Okay? We're gonna build from fresh. So we're going predator here. Uh sapper. I might go rage. Nah, I don't think so. Go predator. Let's go Predator. We go not plated Templar, we also go Predator. We give you Icarus. That looks awesome. 
And if I give you the rage suit, it kind of, all it adds is like that one free slam, which is still good. We still lose this slot if we stick with Skirmisher. And we have the rocket launcher, so if I were to go like uh, Predator here on Abraxa, then I get this slot for the best. Which I think is better. Gives us the uh, acid immunity, all of that fun stuff. We're going Dark Lance. I think I'm going Dark Claw, but I might go a Siam here. You're gonna take the advanced Siam with Domination. Uh, we're gonna give Oni the other advanced Siam here. Think. Yeah, that's fine. Tempest Gauntlets. We don't need the double, we don't need the triple Null Lance. I, mean, I don't think this would do anything. So we have to decide. Let's maybe get rid of this straight away. Put on. Let's get rid of Null Ward too. I think I'll go back to the Insanity and Schism play. It does apply Rupture. That's something I need to keep in the back of my mind. And because we're not infiltrating here, I'm just going to give all of our death gear, I think. So, raising zombies for targets, empowering somebody with an extra turn. I think that's good. I think that's good. You know what I might actually do, even? Let's build um, another advanced Siam. Take off Psy reanimation, soul merge, and then take the advanced Siam here, and that way we can just have another Null Lance at our disposal. Soul merge, Psy reanimation, and Null Lance there. Um. Sustain. Okay. Let's go K90. It's expanded mag versus reflex sight. I think this is all basics plus that suppressor. So let's do this. Rift Trap. Rocket Launcher. Good. Um, we're going to go blue screens here. And as expensive as they are, I'm going to buy another set of blue screens. We're going to put them on here. The only thing I need to really consider having AP for... Uh, actually, the, the Dark Lance kind of handles some of that. Oh, it's got one armor pierce. Okay. So I think maybe we stick with uh, AP rounds on Nova. And then more blue screens here. And I'm looking at AP. I don't think I'm going to change anything. So let's go with Covering Fire. You can take the Plasma Rifle and the Med Kits. So that looks good. Predator. We're going to go with the Energy Sweeper here. Advanced Grenades. Uh, definitely Acid Bomb there. And then I might take fire. Just need to look at this again. Uh, spark, Sectopod, Heavy Mech, Codex. 
The bio, I'm, I'm thinking of something for the Biozerker, but it might not be like my absolute top priority. Um, so maybe what I'll do here is take one of the EMP bombs for the Sectopod and all the other problems we see. Uh, Izzy. What do we have on this one? The Bedded Stock and Wildcats, I think that icon is. Oh, Expanded Man, yeah. Is this just the basic bedded as well? This is advanced. Okay, so let me clean that up then. Oh, this is advanced and free reloads. I don't know why it wasn't showing there. Bedded and weapon capacity. Huh. Okay. So if we go advanced bedded stock, this is, so until we get to superior, we have the extra aim on additional attacks against the last target, but minus 5% aim on everything else, which isn't awesome. But in this type of scenario, we're gonna have big enemies, high HP pools, and we're likely gonna be taking two shots. So I think I can make that work. And then expanded mag over the speed loader. It's a tough call. It's only plus one here. So I think I'll take the speed loader. She has light him up. We've got that no man's land splinter armor. Yeah, it's fine. Might just tank you up as well. Let's go plasma shorty. Boom, boom. Um, you know, having the extra mobility here could be really good. This is only 5%, which we don't really need. If there was like a crit option, then maybe I would consider that. But I think we'll take this for that little speed boost to negate the, the beam cannon. Tempest Gauntlets, that's good. Uh, we don't have that that arc wave until next promotion. Which is nice, but now that we have the right stuff in here, it shouldn't be too bad. And then for you, I think I might take the incendiary bomb. We have those extra defensive charges here. Um, I do have a, a conditioning PCS, but I don't think I need to give it to any of these guys. And then Nova. What do I give you? Maybe just a gas bomb here. We got Solace there. Sustain here. Sustain. So it's double sustain. Is that right? Yeah, interesting. But we still have the built in Solace is helpful. Nova should usually stay far enough back. Well, that's safe. Predator armor, K90, Ionic Ripjack. I think we're set up in the way that we want to be. The only thing I might do is change this or what? What do I change this for? The acid. We have the extra defensive charges here. Man, if I gave if I gave Chen that that PCS, she'd have 20 health. Just kind of nice. Um, what else would I give her? You know what? I'm gonna do it. You've earned it. You've been here long enough. Look at you, Panky AF. That's very impressive. Um, Elixir is a little fragile here. Little on the fragile side. Um, but with the Sentinel and Covering Fire stuff, I definitely just want her... Uh, I do want her shooting. I'm not going to switch this out, obviously, so I can't really tank her up this way. I want to keep the blue screens because of this same reason. Uh, so if I switch this out for, like, a vest, 
I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think I'm missing anything crucial. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you in the next one. Next coming missions are going to be uh, really crucial for us. Uh, hopefully, we're successful and we can just reuse all of this great gear that we're accumulating and uh, go from there. But... Uh, if we try and tackle all three, which I don't know that we're going to be able to do, we're going to be seeing a lot of variety in which soldiers come out. So we'll see how it, we'll see how it all plays out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.